Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. The government of Anguilla has announced a financial contribution of $500,000 Eastern Caribbean currency to be divided equally between Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines for hurricane relief efforts. In an official statement released on 5 July 2024, the Honorable Premier Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster stated, quote, the catastrophic damage to Cariaco, Petite Martinique, Union Islands and others reminds us of Anguilla's plight following Hurricane Irma in 2017 and confirms that global warming and our position as small islands developing states in the Caribbean makes us interconnected, interrelated, and mutually vulnerable. In Anguilla's time of distress and in need, the region stood in solidarity and came to our aid. It is our turn to help our brothers and sisters in the Windward Islands. To this end, the Executive Council has approved a financial contribution of $500,000 to be divided between Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines for hurricane relief and recovery efforts. Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didikas, has commended Anguilla for their support to the tri-island state of Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. He said that Hurricane Burrell serves as a stark reminder of our vulnerability as a region to the challenges of climate change impacts. Amid the devastation caused by Hurricane Burrell, the action of the government of Anguilla serve as a positive ray of hope in these woeful circumstances and amplify regional integration at its best. The OECS commends the government and the people of Anguilla for their generosity to Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This message is for the common people. We have to realize that there are certain stance that governments have to take, but outside of that, we have to take it further. Beyond the weather changing, you have a different climate change that you have to deal with. And this climate change is probably just as deadly because it has to do with your erasure from the Caribbean. So outside of the OECS government officials having some form of unity, the common people need to have some form of unity across the Caribbean. We are not simply interconnected, interrelated and mutually vulnerable because of hurricanes and because we are small nations. Remember, we have a roots. So Caribbean people, we have to wake up and we have to read between the lines and we have to push the ball further, right? Because if we are not united, then we have no real say-so in shaping the future of our country. We know that hurricanes happen every year. So why are we so reactive to it? We should be proactive because we already know how it is.